What is up everybody, Prodigal Lion here, and as you guys know, right now, Red Dead Online, the beta version of it, is officially out right now, and I don't know how soon they're about to start releasing it to like Special Edition and Standard Edition players, but as you know, the Ultimate Edition players, um, who, players who purchased the Ultimate Edition uh, are the ones who got the first access. Now, and in case you didn't know, which I'm sure most of you did know, for getting the Ultimate Edition, you get a whole bunch of bonuses both in single player and in multiplayer online. There's a few online items that you can get for buying the Ultimate Edition, and that's a couple bonus outfits, a black chestnut thoroughbred horse, um, you get a survivor camp theme, uh, free access to additional weapons, and rank bonuses. Now, rank bonuses is something that you can't actually redeem. You just automatically have it on your account as of right now. Basically, you just get to rank up faster up until rank 25, and once you hit rank 25, it just you just rank up at normal speed as every other player. So as I said, one of the items that you can redeem is the survivor camp theme. Now in order to do, to do this, you have to set up camp somewhere and once you go to camp, you are actually going to go ahead and walk up to chip, to Cribs, I don't know why I was just called the Chips. Walk up to Cribs, hold triangle, and one of the first options is theme. So you're going to go ahead and select theme. And then at the very bottom, it shows the survivor edition. There's a couple other ones like traveling opulence, the hobo life military surplus um, but the survivor one is the one that is already um, free for use I don't know how much really changes by using the survivor thing the biggest thing I noticed was like the wooden um, not really four I guess but wooden just tent I guess that is a, right above your bed so that I thought that was pretty cool uh, I think the table um, like the dining table changes a little bit but it's a little something different uh, and I like it and I thought it was pretty cool as I said, another set of items that you can also get for free within Red Dead Online um, is a few free weapons. It's three of them. You get the uh, Varmint Rifle, the Pump Action Shotgun, and the Volcanic Pistol. Um, all those for free. Ammo is not included, unfortunately. Well, maybe a little bit is, but you have to buy ammo yourself, unfortunately. Um, but like I said, all three of those are available for free. It's, and this one's easier to do. You just go to a gunsmith in, a t in some kind of town, scroll through the catalog, and purchase each weapon, and there you have it. In order to get the free horse, you're gonna have to go to a stable in another town like as before, just kind of similar to going to the gunsmith. And as I said, it is a black chestnut thoroughbred. So, when you get to the stable, you're gonna wanna go to buy horse. Well, first you're gonna probably have to sell your horse. That's the first thing you're gonna wanna probably do because you need a, um, a stall space. So if you have multiple stall spaces, good for you. But if not, you might wanna sell the current horse you're using. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to buy horse. You're gonna go to race, as because it's a racing horse. Then you'll click on thoroughbred. And then at the very bottom, you will have black chestnut. And you can make it either a male or female. Um, so just pick whatever one you want, whether you want to have balls or not. So there you go. And you have your black chestnut thoroughbred horse. And the last set of items that you can purchase, like I said, is three free outfits. Those three outfits are actually the Black Rose Bounty Hunter outfit, the Grizzlies Outlaw outfit, and the Copperhead Enforcer outfit. Like I said, all three of those are free for purchase. Just go to a general store in a nearby town, and, and once you go into the general store, go open up the catalog, go to clothes, um, click on outfits, and then you just kind of scroll through. Uh, and every single outfit has like some kind of pricing on it, but just find those three outfits, like uh, Black Rose Hunter and the other two. Um, and they don't have prices on it, they just have like some kind of stamp on each single one. Yeah, every single one has its own stamp. Um, so just click on each one, click to view, and then it will give you an option to purchase as well. And boom, you have all three outfits. So there you guys have it. A whole bunch of free items that we get for, well I guess not free when you put it, when you think about how we spent a hundred bucks on the Ultimate Edition. But, there you go, there you have it. That's how you get all the items for buying the Ultimate Edition of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this really helped you guys out. Um, what do you guys think about Red Dead Online so far? I haven't really had a whole lot of time to play it because of work, but the little bit of I've played, I'm excited for uh, to, to keep playing it. I'm excited for the future of it because um, it's a very great base. Like right now, it's still kind of in early stages. Um, has a little bit of issues, a little kinks to iron out. Um, and obviously, there's not a whole, whole lot of content in it quite yet either. Not a whole lot of players because people are still kind of funneling into the game. But it's a very solid base, uh, unlike Fallout 76's base. But it's a solid base game, and I'm excited to play it for a while to come. I don't know how long, but I'm excited to play it for a while. So uh, 
Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And what, like I said, if you guys found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. And consider subscribing for more Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online content. And I will see you guys next time.